And this is your boy Memphis Mike out on the go wing, YouTube. Out on the go wing. With my boy Chris and the Dark Knight leading the way. The Dark Knight emerges. When it comes to motorcycling, uh -huh. do you dress for fashion or do you dress for safety and the slide, not the ride? Well, Mike, for me, my kid said that I look like the juggernaut. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's right. And I said, kids, I'm not trying to be cool. That's right. I'm trying to be safe. That's right. I want to be comfortable. But you can be cool and safe. What do you say, Dad? You look like the juggernaut. I know that's right. I prefer to go with the Power Ranger look. The Power Ranger. <laughs> the gray Power Ranger. The that's titanium right. silver Power Ranger. Exactly. But you know, that, that brings up a good point. I was. Sometimes people ask me, they're like, uh, you know, why, why don't you just wear some jeans or something like that? Or And I know people that like to wear maybe jeans underneath their riding suit uh -huh. uh, and then maybe shed the riding pants off when they get somewhere. But you know, as I was telling my wife and somebody else, the when I set out to go ride, man, I don't care. I'm out to ride. You know, I don't want to have to be changing clothes and all that stuff, you know. It's making the right turn, Mike. Yeah. I like that, using them hand signals. Yeah, he loves that, man. He, yeah, that's good. He's a good yeah, rider, man. Yeah, he, oh, man, he, he takes riding serious. Yeah, I'm glad. The dark night emerges from the darkness. That's right. But it, uh, when I'm out to ride, man, I'm out to ride. And I don't care, you know, I, I like to ride I like to wear riding gear, man. Yeah. You know, and that, uh, in fact, man, when we travel, man, I I know some people, they talk, well, I used to take a couple of pair of jeans and this, and I'm like, I think that last trip I went on back in the summer, I didn't even carry any jeans, man. Oh, you didn't? No, man, I just, I took my mesh riding pants and just uh, some long, long silk underwear liners you know mm -hmm. I thought because I'm out to ride man I don't care I ain't trying to get back to the hotel and dress up for dinner all that mess you know what I'm saying yeah so dark night is emerging yeah yeah oh yeah he ride Mike I don't mean to cut you off but this guy be rolling man oh yeah man what I'm talking about I guess he's got a little serpentine going on yeah it's been a, it's been a minute since I've been down old 61 man been this way before? That's been a minute. But, uh, yeah, I just like to wear gear, man. Yeah. And it, uh, but it, uh, in fact, I, I brought up a point. You know, they're going back to every year, I think it comes up on in Tennessee about the helmet laws. Uh-huh. And everything, you know, uh, about wanting it to be, you know, the rider's choice. Right. You know, because it's a, it's a law in Tennessee we got to wear. Yeah. You know. That's true. I kind of threw the topic up. And, you know, my take on it is, man, I guess, yeah, maybe it can be your choice. Maybe it should be your choice. Mm -hmm. And I guess the issue is, you know, they don't want somebody telling them what to do. When in, right. essence, when in essence, it's probably the... The insurance companies that are pushing for these laws because you know you go down and bust them brains up it's gonna cost somebody a lot of money yeah you know and you know what i never thought about i never thought about it like that mike yeah i mean it's the same thing with the seat belts you know oh, okay you know yeah, i never i never thought about the insurance companies right pushing for that right and it would probably raise the rates up higher if yeah you know if, if they didn't well, and they, they also talked about in the Mid-South how it really, you know, how it really, even if you're, say, in Arkansas or whatever, uh -huh. it costs Tennessee money because, you know, we've got the med. That's the trauma center. Right. You know, and if, uh, man, if you're in a serious crash, uh, that that's where you want to be is the med. 
That's right. You that's know, right. That's they, exactly right. They set up for that and uh, everything. But, uh, you know, I just threw the topic out there to some of my Facebook people. Uh-huh. And, uh, you know, I kind of made the approach of, yeah, it may be our choice, but here, here lately... You know, I told you my son had bought him a dirt bike, a little yeah. XR 250. So he's kind of learning to ride. Right. Well, you know, the first thing I told him, I said, you go riding, you're going to wear a helmet. You know, and uh, but you know what? You lead by example. That's right. You know, now I've got some, I've got some buddies that, you know, they want to wear a $10 bucket, you know, novelty helmet and everything. And. But you know what I tell them? That's your choice. That's all good. And uh, I don't judge anybody for whatever they wear, man. Yeah, a little bit of gravel going on here. Yeah, I see why he swung out like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. I don't judge anybody, though, for what they wear or if they don't wear. That's right. I'm going to ride with you. But, uh, you know, for me, it's it's my choice. I'm going I'm to wear, man. And yeah. uh, my wife's the same way. She's a, she's a RN. And uh, she's like, you know what? You can, you can fix a broke shoulder or a broke leg, but uh, I got to do it too for my family, man. As a matter of fact, speaking of helmets, you know, they had a kid. I was looking at the news just last night, and the kid was sitting on the car. Yeah. Or something, and the driver didn't know the kid was sitting on the car. Right. And pulled off, and the kid fell and hit his head. Yeah. Oh, wow. And uh, the kid is in critical condition. Wow. So he hit his head on the yeah. on the concrete. Now how? Now don't ask me the details about. Well, right. why did he see him? What time of day it was? Right. You know, was visibility 100 percent? I don't know. I can't give you no details. Right. I only can tell you that the guy. Yeah. Uh, let's see what we got some gravel. Man, here. we got some gravel going on yeah. here. The only thing I can tell you is that uh, the kid fell, hit his head, and he's in critical condition. So. Yeah. You know, he wasn't riding a motorcycle, but the right. point is. If you hit your head on the pavement, man. Yeah. You know you can't. That's, you know that 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 can be serious. Yeah. And I don't I don't I don't want nobody having to feed me with a tube or you know. That's right. Anything like that, but uh, and everything. So it, uh, it's it's kind of my choice. That's just the choice I make, man. Yeah. You know. You know. It's, it's it's like you said, Mike. It's your choice. Right. But you know, even with me. Yep. I'm, I'm wearing my modular helmet. I don't care if it's a helmet law or not. Right. You know, I don't care if I'm doing five miles an hour, man. I'm, I'm keeping my helmet on. Exactly. Exactly. So. Yeah. What is that in the road? You know, and most of the time, most of the time I'm still in, I got my full pants and even my full jacket on as well. Right. You know, and it, uh, and I was telling you earlier too, I've, I kind of went to Tour Master gear when I got my wing with uh-huh. the caliper Tour Master caliper pants uh-huh. and uh, a Tour Master mesh jacket with a liner. It's got padding and all that. But uh, I tell you what, I almost sold all my Joe Rocky gear when I got that. I thought, well, I don't need I don't need two riding suits. But I ended up having to send my Tour Master pants to a tailor because I tore the zipper out, uh-huh. trying to get ready real quick. Uh-oh. You know, going to work. Right. And you know they got these little cheap plastic zippers. Right. And uh, now I've gone back to my Joe Rocket and. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. It's, I've got where I, I think I'm more of a fan of my Joe Rocket stuff than than my Tour Master man. Yeah. I think the quality of some of the Tour Master, the new Tour Master, I don't think it's made as well, to be honest. You know, my gold wing jacket is Joe Rocket. Yep. 5.0. My, we still have, that's basically, that Joe Rocket mesh jacket, that's a Phoenix. That's a Phoenix 5.0 jacket you have. Uh-huh. You know what? I still, and my wife wears it, have my Joe Rocket Phoenix 2.0. That's how that's how old that jacket is. Ooh, a 2.0. 2.0. Yep. That, that's like a 3.5 floppy disk. I know. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're yeah. right. And uh, so I'm glad I didn't get rid of it, man. I kept my Joe Rocket uh, ballistic pants and my Revolution jacket. And uh, 
Mike, is my Volo lights working? Yep, they sure okay. are. Yeah. Okay. Lit up like a Christmas tree back there, man. Mike, I should have put my camera on regular view as opposed to super view. I, I was kind of rushing back there. Yeah, that's all right, man. It's all good. All good. But you had a 2.0. Yeah, Phoenix 2.0. Yeah. And uh, believe it or not, I've still got a Tour Master jacket that I bought in 2003. It's it's better made than my new Tour Master jacket, man. Wow. I just don't like the I just don't like the uh, external. Uh, I just don't like the the outside shell of it. It's more it's more cloth type, you know. Where well, not really cloth, but I guess a textile type, you know. It is it is uh, water resistant, but. Uh, but since I've got the heated liner, man, this new, this old Joe Rocket uh, Revolution jacket, my heated liner is perfect, man. It is. So. Yeah. I'm enjoying the. Uh, I'm enjoying the new the new gear that I've got right now, man, for uh, riding. Yeah. And uh, everything and everything seems to be working out good. And, but it. Uh, I, you know what? I hope I, I'm planning on getting. Some heated gear myself, probably. Yeah. Uh, by next winter, Mike, I don't really need it, but I just like to have it. Might catch it on sale. Yeah. Well, you know what, my wife has said, and even I've I've said it also in my previous vids about it. Well, basically, what it does, man, it it eliminates bulky layers. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, <laughs> that's basically what it does: eliminates all those layers, and you know. That way you don't look like the... The Michelin tire man. Yeah, exactly. Or that little kid on that Christmas story where his freaking arms are sticking straight out, you know. But, uh... So, when it comes again, man, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good right now about my setup and everything. And, uh... All that, so it's, uh... It's all working out good for me, you know. Yep. And everything, so... I just want to do a quick vlog, though, man talking about gear and uh we're just out on the road here today with my boy chris caliente and we have the dark night in front of us on that nice looking victory, victory. cross country and uh cross country that's a nice looking ride and everything so it is i like the pipes he got on those yeah he it does like he got six inch pipes on the back Woo. that sounds good <laughs> that sounds good show does so i don't think it's six inches but they're pretty big but that's all i got for you youtube appreciate you watching be sure to subscribe to youtube.com slash memphis mike 901 and look up my boy chris caliente on youtube as many of you know as well and we're just going to enjoy a ride today and i'll see you